What's up, man? Welcome into the Good Buddies Anime Review. I am your good buddy, Roger. You're knocking stuff over, dude. <laughs> You're so excited. Yeah, Did man. Hear that? I, I, I jiggled a little bit on the I, microphone. I, I, I am your good buddy, Brandon. He's not jiggling as much. I'm not. I don't jiggle. I don't jiggle, he, really. He's not commencing the jiggle. Commence the jiggling. He commenced the jiggling. All right. <laughs> well, yeah. enough of the jiggling. Let's talk about what we're here to talk about, and that is we're going to review a little show called We Never Learn colon Bokubin. 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 One of them. Bokubin. Uh, bang, 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 bang. <laughs> nice one. And we're going to do it as we always do it by uh, telling y'all a little bit about the show, breaking it down into five different categories, each worth a possible two stars for a total of ten stars. Mm-hmm. And we're going to give you a final review of recommendation on whether or not we think you should check out this show. And, the, and if it was, Roger, if it was Boo Boo Skunk Garbage, what would you call that? I'd call it an anime, maybe not. What if it was? It wasn't great, but it wasn't the worst. An anime. It was average. It was fine. And maybe it's pretty good though. Has animals definitely. But if it was awesome, Roger, if it was so good, my guy, that is an amazing. It is, and it would be. And uh, the way we're gonna get there, as we said, five different categories, two stars each, possible ten stars. That's how math work. What is that first category, Roger? The story and setting. Second category. Characters and development. Mm, third category. The art and animation. And number four. What's it sound like? It's a soundtrack. And finally, that good buddy's wiggle room. That fifth category. That je ne sais quoi. Roger, what does that mean? I do not know what. I don't know what. But that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna get on into it right now. You want a quick pick, big boy? Yeah, hit us with a quick pitch. Let me give you the quick pitch. So this one's going to start out uh, pretty pretty standard, but it focuses on uh, a young man, Mr. Yuiga Nariyuki, who is a studious high school student who takes on a tutoring gig to secure himself a very uh, a shining college recommendation. He wants he wants to make sure he gets to good school, get a good recommendation, good to go. And how's he going to get there? By teaching these quote unquote geniuses. Sounds simple. They're already geniuses. The very smart, clearly. However, it's not quite that simple because one of them, Furuhashi, she's the one who's good at literature and arts, but wants to go to a technical school and get her science on. Meanwhile, Ogata, the math whiz, wants to learn the liberal arts. And so what's our guy gonna do? He's trying to teach him. Uh, and so uh, it, the whole story, you know, so begins his attempts to educate these girls and a few others we meet along the way. All whilst navigating their and others growing emotions for him and, you know, a decent amount of titty tripping. Yeah. 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 And there you go. Yeah. I, I honestly, like, before we get too much further, let me just tell you, it's a harem. Yeah, it's it is. It's very cute, yeah, but it is a cute. harem it anime. Is harem. It's a, it is a harem anime, they, so. They, they work, I feel like they work pretty well not going too far into the super smut territory. Yeah, it doesn't go super smutty, yeah. but it is like, it is the year of our Lord 2019, and this is one where it's going to be a bunch of awkward situations yeah. and misunderstandings and dudes tripping into titties or titties tripping yeah. into dudes. So. And, and to their credit on this one, yes, they're in school, but at the very least, they're seniors. Yeah. So not, <laughs> wow. Not, not too bad. <laughs> wow. Hey, in, wow, dude. in anime wow. terms, dude, sometimes you just gotta accept the not too bad. You gotta, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta, you take what you can get is yeah. what you're saying. You're like, wow, they're not in middle school. <laughs> wow, they're not like they're literal, seniors. literally <laughs> kids. They're not literal children, just mostly. All right, fair enough. I yeah, guess. I remember whenever I was a senior, I was bonking. Well, <laughs> wow, dude. <laughs> let's move on to it. Let's talk about the story and set. And you want to go into it? Uh, yeah, man. It's uh. It's really similar to your quick pitch. Mm-hmm. We the the setting is mostly at uh, Ichinose Academy, mm-hmm. which I believe is uh, not a real place. No, but we but, do uh, we do get a few other little yeah locales. we do get we do get other little little places. We get a fair, we get uh, the the teacher's house. Yeah, there's you know a little people's shrine. people's living areas or whatever. You you go mm-hmm. to different homes. You go downtown, see a little bit mm-hmm. of the red light district. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you get you get to see a, it's a nice like little variation of a town, but it sticks mainly to that town, and mainly you know to the school where they're doing the studying and Indeed. all the all of the the bumping into the boobies and stuff happens. Yeah, man. And and as far as the story goes, we mostly covered it, but yeah. I, I would just say it's like it's your classic like tutoring harem. Anime. Yeah, it is not particularly original nor i mean could it be it's not the no. first it won't be the last it i will say it does have the slight misfortune of coming exactly one season after quintessential quintuplets which like 
was the exact same yeah. thing, but with like more girls. So yeah. and eh. also also one season after uh, Domestic Girlfriend. So yeah, uh, which is well, which is less <laughs> of a harem and more of true. a smut fest. It's still a harem. Heck it's yeah. a smutty, smutty, sexy hair. He wasn't no. tutoring anybody. Though. I love it. I freaking love it. Jesus Christ. I All love right. it. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's mostly the story and setting. I mean, it, again, well-trodden ground, but yeah, it's decent. Yeah, yeah. I can't really think of... of the, the only thing that is different that sets this one apart is the fact that the girls are geniuses. Yeah. And that they want to go into college. He's tutoring them. To go to college for subjects that they are not good at. They basically, if these two could like trade what they're good at, they'd be sick. Mm-hmm. But they can't, so yep. got to teach them. Uh, you want to talk about the characters in development? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, this show actually has uh, a pretty good cast of characters, it's and decent. and it has uh, some really good uh, development with a couple of them. I said a couple. Yeah, okay. I didn't say all. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, let's I said, I said let's talk couple. about our main boy. Yeah, you got. Uh, yeah, you got. Yuga, he is Yuga a, Narayuki? Am I saying that right? Yeah, Narayuki. Yeah. Uh, he is a dirt poor student. Yeah. Living with his dirt poor family. S- t- stop me if you heard this one before. Yeah, <laughs> he he's his family's not well off, but they seem to be a very loving, happy family or whatever. I will say this one the show's one big saving grace for me is they, they introduce you very briefly to his younger sister, who's the oldest after him. Yeah. And she apparently has a bit of a like crush the, on her the brother, brother fetish, but they don't do anything with yeah, it. It's they, just like a quick one-off every now and then. Yeah, like a quick and they, joke. they play it always. Yeah, as a joke. Thank you. Uh, yeah, thank, thank you, you for that. that, is, that I guess. Good. <laughs> I actually, I don't, I don't mind it. You know, like tongue-in-cheek things. I, don't, I don't mind so much. I yeah, thought, I thought it led to some funny moments here. And yeah, there. and I think that's exactly what it was supposed to do. Like that. Yeah. yeah but a but uh, Yugia, uh, Yugia, sorry. I have trouble saying that Yuga? last name. Yuga. I have trouble saying that last name. Sure. Or, um, he he's a he's a pretty good guy, but he's not particularly like smart in anything like the girls are. He's just very studious. Yeah, he's he's very very average, but he makes up for that because he is studious. He studies. Mm-hmm. He's he's always in a book trying to trying to figure out how to get to the next level because he wants to go to a good college. He doesn't. He wants to make something of his life, and he wants to be able to to help his family and stuff, which is a very noble task. And if I can say one thing about my guy, this is gonna sound a little mean. He's so boring. Yeah, he is bland. <laughs> he He's is incredibly he is bland. bland. I don't like. This is one of those where it's like every like not everyone literally, but like everyone is like a little bit hot for this guy. And I'm like, he's about yeah. as sexy as a cold glass of milk. I don't yeah. get it. He, well, he is. I think. <laughs> I think the the appeal. That they try to write is is like the because he's so caring. It, it's he's so yeah. Nice. He's the every it's the every man appeal, and he's just such a nice. Yeah, boy. he's he is a guy, mm-hmm. and there's nothing like particularly incredible about him, but all of the all of the little things and just the fact the way that he acts towards others is what draws mm-hmm. him into into them. Yeah, and they kind of do play up the like oh he's so nice thing like particularly yeah. uh, there's a bit with one character who we're about to talk about who like is kind of standoffish with him at first but then he like he he's the only one that notices how hard she was trying to help these girls. Yeah. And like that really sticks with her for a second. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just he's a nice guy. Yep. He's a nice guy. Uh so yeah, that's uh, Naruki Yuka. Uh next, let's talk about Fumino Furuhashi. Yeah, man. She's real quiet, kind of yeah. sad. She is, uh, she is excellent, arts and literature. Yeah, yeah, that's her whole thing. But let me tell you, she sucks at some freaking math, and she wants to go to school for astronomy, which is very much, uh, it's the mapping of the stars, which yeah. is pretty much done through math. Well, you telling me there's letters and numbers in this yeah. problem? I don't get it. Yeah, man, you're using <laughs> some trigonometry. Oh, some geometry. Hell. Oh hell! Uh, what else? Calculus, probably. Oh jeez! I hated calculus. You get that Senku kid from Doctor Stone. I'm, I'm here. not gonna lie, I hated algebra. <laughs> oh buddy, Ge- Ge- geometry was my shit. That was easy. Yeah, them that's shapes. just shapes. Yeah, shapes and stuff. <laughs> good, at, good at them formulas. Yeah, I can handle <laughs> shapes. But yeah, she uh, she mostly like she's also like kind of. Hmm. She's like the only one. Uh, so she realizes, without getting too spoilery, that like at least one or two of these characters kind of are into our guy, mm-hmm. and she ends up like kind of trying to do a matchmaker thing. She doesn't really want to like commit herself one way or the other because you know these they're both are her friends. friends. Yeah. yeah, but 
yeah, she 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 ends up being like a pretty pretty you know interesting little character because she's not immediately like head over heels for this dude right as a few other yeah she plays are. a she plays almost a senpai role almost like i need i need some help she's because, senpai for uh, the senpai. I, th- I think it is is fair to mention that uh yuga is freaking he is completely oblivious oh yeah he don't know shit <laughs> um Whereas there are points where any of us would, any any person, it's not even realistic. Literally anybody in the world would yeah. be like, oh, wait, you're horny for me. Like, yeah. <laughs> nope, you don't get it. Yep. God uh, bless him. Little but yeah, Furuhashi, she she acts like that. So she like she kind of just guides him along. Mm. She leads him in ways to help them, but also to put them over. Mm. Like, like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> we'll use a wrestling term there for you. Nice one, but dude. I mean, essentially, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she's trying to make them look like they're, you know, very sweet girls, which for the most part they are. Sure. Um, but yeah, uh, Fumino, she's a really great character. She has a lot of. She has some of the more funny moments because she gets the faces. Mm. Well, uh, Ogata does too. Because she's yeah. always doing the puff face. Well, yeah. Not. I'm talking about the the faces, the, like G, the, the like GTO the, oh, face. Oh, the GTO stuff. The yeah, I sure. want to die face. Yeah, she has a great. <laughs> the God is dead moment was yeah. a pretty big one for me. <laughs> yeah, she's she's got some really funny moments. She's a great character. Uh, you mentioned uh, Ogata. Let's talk about Rizu Ogata. Yeah, she's uh she's fun. I, I actually like her a bit. I mean, she. I'll say this. I'll just say this right now, man. You talked about how a few of the characters get some decent development. I don't most of them it's just kind of two dimensional mm-hmm. really and she's kind of one of them she she's yeah. very fun she works out of her uh, parents restaurant sometimes delivering food and helping out and whatnot they do udon I think uh, she's cool she has some fun moments she's the math whiz yeah. doesn't not even necessarily good at math she just sees a problem and she understands how it works like it like it's freaking uh, I'm not gonna remember the name of that movie I did the same thing when we talked about it before the mathematician no fucking uh, now I have to think of it mathematical Finding, no, not Finding Forrester. Finding Goodwill Nemo? Hunting. Goodwill Hunting. <laughs> that one. Where, like, the dude just sees the big problem on the board that no one can solve, and he just knows it. Same thing with Or, her. like, Jim Carrey in the number 23. Jesus Christ, dude. You're killing me. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's that's her thing. Yeah, she she's, lo- she's very good at math, but she wants to uh, do the liberal arts thing and whatnot. Mostly, she also wants to go into like a psychology. She thing wants to go to psychology because, because she, she has she can't read people. She yeah, can't, she doesn't she, understand. She emotions. has difficulties processing emotion. Mm-hmm. She she and doesn't understand it. people. She can't get it. She doesn't understand any of it. And she wants to very badly. Which yeah. is probably why she has such a hard time understanding or getting across that she's like trying to tell this dude she's into her. Uh, yeah. He's into her or she's into him, yep. I guess. It's real doofy. But she at the end of the day, she's a very hard worker. Yeah. Um she's, you know, once again a genius. She's a little, extremely little sweet. skilled. Yeah, she's very sweet. She likes board games, card games. She doesn't win at them ever. Uh, no, she doesn't. But and, she does and, love them. And it leads that's where it leads into the we get good puff faces from there. We get a lot of good puff you faces. And love, also we, uh, here uh, us at the good buddies, we love us some puff face. And let's just say this now. She she the one with the big titties and he gonna fall into the She does a have lot. the big old boobies. <laughs> that is gonna um, happen a bunch with this character. Yeah. It's like, okay. Like as soon as you see her, you're like, ah, okay, here we go. Yeah, she's she's a fun character. She's fun. She's it's uh, fun. Let's go into our next lady. This one is one of the ones that I think does get a fair amount of development. And that's uh Uraka or Uruka Takamoto. Yeah. Childhood friend. Yep. Very athletic. Yep. The only one who, right off the bat, knows for sure she's into this dude. Yeah. And she's struggling to try and, like, convey that. Mm-hmm. And she ends up getting on with the tutoring uh, bit because she's very athletic, very good at swimming. That's yeah, her main any, thing. Yeah, any school would want her. God almighty, for, tan for lines on this one. Which, yep. by the way, makes zero sense because we only ever see her swimming on at the indoor pool, but she's got yeah, the craziest tan true. lines. It makes no sense. But someone's into tan lines, I guess. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's her whole thing. And she, she is, you know, she really wants to tell him that she's into him and stuff. She has been basically since they yeah. were kids, but she's having difficulty doing that. Right. And, uh, she, where she is extremely good at sports, she sucks at virtually everything. Else. Everything, dude. Yeah. She's a bit of an airhead and, um, Yuga knows her. So he kind of hones in on ways immediately to work with her and, and get her into the way. Uh, that she needs to be to start learning these things. She's actually the first one. This is a minor mm. spoiler. She's the first one to show uh, real improvement out of the three. Oh yeah, yeah. Because she has 
she has everything to gain where they just have one thing to gain. Yeah, yeah. So she's struggling multiple things, and he's ha able to help her little by little. Just a little bit. But they're they're kind of like the romance thing they got there, and the fact that they're they're childhood friends. The way they build it up and play them together is very cute and fun. Mm -hmm. uh, they they were my favorite uh, pairing in the show. Sure. Uh, but yeah, I think between her and I think uh, you guys, boring as he is, he does get a fair amount uh, a fair amount of development. Sure. Uh, but Takimoto, I think, gets the next most. Sure. Whenever whenever I say there are characters with decent development in here, those are the two that I'm mainly referring to. But, you, get, you get some moments with a few of the others. Yeah, but not a lot. But another one that might get, you might be able to say that she don't gets you a, don't you dare she gets a little bit of development. Don't you dare is my Fuyu Karisu. You're out of your entire. She's mind. a teacher. You're out of your entire. At first, mind. she seems like a crotchety old lady. Well, <laughs> not old really, but she seems like a crotchety lady. Like she's very like Debbie Downer on everything. She's she's the reason these girls have some of the problems they do mm -hmm. because the. The whole thing behind the show, they want to do these things. They want to go to college for something they're bad at so mm -hmm. they can understand them and excel in them. And everybody says, you're already good at this other stuff. Just do this thing just instead. Just do this. I, who cares what you want? This is what you're good at. Just do what you're good at. Yeah, just do what you're good at. And nobody freaking likes that. Yeah. Yeah, um, it kind of sucks. And, and yeah, she was, and she she's she's the head honcho. Yeah, Miss Kiersey was definitely pushing that on him. She is their former tutor. She's very serious. But... I mean, and this is the thing that, like, kind of bummed me out with her is, like, she she's also, so here's the thing, she's also just very professional in her professional life. Mm -hmm. She is always dressed just right, you know, hospital corners and everything. Everything's perfect when sure. she's at school and moving and doing anything. And then you get home, she's a fucking train wreck. Just absolute garbage everywhere. You walk in and you're like, damn, bitch, you live like this? It's one of them. Yeah. And that that should be really interesting. Yeah. Yeah, it should. But it's not. I don't think they it's, I I don't think like it's they, terribly bad. I feel like they just dropped the ball on it. Like, it, it should be. I, I, I'm not going to say what anything should be because I, I just feel like you could have done more with that character and they don't. They mostly just yeah. have her accidentally end up in different silly outfits. Whoops, I'm dressed like a maid. Whoops, I'm dressed like a schoolgirl. It's like, okay. Yeah. That's like her whole shtick. Yeah, sure. I mean, like, I don't think it's supposed to be much more than that. However, there is the the development that I would refer to her is the reason why she is the way she is about uh, do what you're good at and mm. nothing else. They they do give you a little bit on that and and it is kind of a like like she she had dreams and aspirations and then one day they were just gone. That's true. Yeah, they give you a little bit of backstory there, yeah. but also like so uh, it, it brings her back to the human level, but also costumes. I mean, you they gotta have it, dude. Somebody's gotta have. I don't, I don't think you, you also, do. You gotta, you gotta have the teacher that's kind of into the student. Gross. Because there are gonna be students watching this that are into their teachers. But like, and it gives my like, boys hope. That's first of all, gross and dumb. <laughs> second, <laughs> second, this is a person who like that's what bums me out is like, and this is the thing. I'm just gonna say this. She now. doesn't actually like. No, no, no. But like, this is the thing that like. I'm realizing after watching this and like writing my thoughts and review and everything, I realize why I don't like harem animes. And it's because with very few exceptions, everything has to revolve around the dude. The ladies like can have a backstory, but that isn't necessarily development. Sure. And that's a thing with this character is she like, I would, I would be so interested to see like more of her life, but you don't get to because everything has to revolve around him. So he has to be the one who's helping her by cleaning her place and carrying her home and doing all this stuff for her because she can't, despite being a grown, yeah. the most mature character and a grown ass woman, she can't do anything. And yeah. that kind of bummed me out. Yeah. That, that's my point. To, to be fair is I don't think the character, and, and and I get your your point because they wrote it anyway. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what are you supposed to pull from it? But in the show, if you take the show just exactly how the show is, she doesn't actually ask him to do any of that no, stuff. No, he no, He just kind of does it. Yeah, and that's that's um, just more of him being like, super nice boy, and yeah, fine. Yeah. I don't know. I, it just, it just sure. kind of bummed me out. I've said yeah. my piece. I, yeah, I don't think she's supposed to be, you know... A crazy character or anything she's just there she's there to for the reason why the girls are getting tutored yeah uh you know why they feel so defeated um well that's but where also, she comes in but then she turns into yeah. whoops you saw my titties like yeah but she also turns into like hey maybe maybe what he's saying is is kind of right maybe they should be able to follow the dreams that i steered them away from yeah so 
Yeah, it is. It is what it is, dude. It's anime. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there is one more girl yep. I, I would like to talk about, which is uh, Miss Kominami. Asumi Kominami, uh, who is the best one. <laughs> Yeah, she, she don't take a shit. She absolutely is. I, I wrote down here. She is a trope defying breath of fresh air because so first of all, she looks very young. She's actually older than our dude and she don't take no shit from no one like he they meet in a cram school thing over the summer because she's studying very hard to get into med school and whatnot despite being not great at it Mm -hmm. and he ends up helping her out because of course he does what a nice boy but like she's constantly calling him junior she's constantly like telling him you know he he's he's like oh uh blah blah like uh you're you're so young why are you in here she's like i'm older than you you jackass and like she's just giving yeah i already graduated she's like immediately taking no shit and she pulls off the ultimate power move of patting him on the head when he's like a solid foot taller than her yeah oh i love her yeah she's great and she also like again absolutely defies all the tropes whoops i had to uh oops someone overheard me talking about you being my boyfriend even though that was just a lie to get out of to get keep my dad from getting mad and someone's like wait you're dating this girl what's going on and she just walks up no i'm not we're not dating yeah here's what happened just lay it out there because she don't give a fuck yeah but also god bless her but also she's kind of into him uh, <laughs> just is she kind of into him? She's just fucking with him because mostly it seems like she's fucking. I with think him. I There's actually think you can read it however you can you read want it. To. However, but it's definitely bits where like she's like doing the blushing like uh, I guess, and he's like, "Whoa, what?" And then she's like, "Ha, got you, nerd!" Like yeah. she's constantly doing the "Ha, got you, nerd," and it's great. Yeah, she's a good character. I like her. She's she's definitely my favorite. Yeah, of she's the bunch. fun. Yeah, like I, I hate that you don't get her until like episode nine or ten. Yeah, but, she should have been in there much earlier. Yes, but she's very fun, and God bless her. Yeah, excellent, excellent uh, character that she is, and I. <clears throat> I know that you don't care for all the characters, but I think that it's a good cast. It's fine. It's a yeah. fine cast. I just, I, I'm not saying anything about- They make about, the show very watchable. It's not about the characters being bad for me. It is the the introduction of them is almost always like spot on and good and mm-hmm. like, okay, cool. I know who this is. But then there's like, dis, despite one or two little bits, there's not almost any development. Yeah. Like Ogata and, sure. and, and uh, What's Her Butt in particular are just 2D like- cookie cutter like yeah. there's okay. nothing going that's on that's fair it kind of bummed me out uh but you want to move on to the art animation yeah let's talk about it um these next two there probably won't be a whole lot here but uh the art animation in my opinion is uh it's above average it's yeah above, definitely yeah I, I would say it's, probably, it's not gonna blow your mind but it is above average yeah i would say probably the the best thing this show has going for yeah it. and it's those all, damn eyes yes it's all very cute yeah, the, the way they draw the eyes, like kind of angled and whatnot. Yeah, instead of being the like gigantic it stereotypical, gives it, it, anime it gives eyes. it a very unique look. It really does. Yeah, and it's very clean, yeah, very smooth, super polished. I, I've wrote down here everything comes across uh, very cute. There's these little expository bits where like you see like they're going to the next scene or whatever, and you'll just have like two characters talking when they're not on screen. You get these little like bubble characters talking, yeah, and it's super cute. Um, the 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 outro with the chalk drawing style is very charming. Yep, I like love it. It's not it's not winning any awards for being the coolest thing ever, but yeah. it's just overall very it's, good. It's pleasant to look at. It's yeah. easily above average. The art, it, like you yeah. said, um, it's yeah. quite good. Yep, I like it. Uh, soundtrack, I like as well. It's fine. I thought the opening song was really cute and good. I really like the ending song. Yeah, the I like ending the ending song was my my favorite. Or the whatever. outro definitely stuck with me. I like that one a lot. The yeah. intro, I'll be honest, I had to like rewatch a bit to like remember what it was because it was kind of forgettable for me. Um, yeah. But the outro is very fun. I like the outro a lot. Yeah, I thought. I thought. Yeah. Get that flappy mouth. Yeah. I like them, um, and the interstitial music—it's—it's it's there. It does—it does its—it does its part. It does its part, which and like this is the thing I've said before. I don't remember any of it, which I think is probably the point. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's just this. The the music for this one is going to come solely from the pretty much the uh, outro and intro. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you got anything for the Genesis Quad, bro? Um, yeah, I would just say that the show, in my opinion, the show is a very cute. If you're looking for something that you're gonna laugh at for a little bit, you just want something, you know, it's it's not gonna break any molds or anything like that. Mm. It's not gonna blow your mind, but it is very watchable. It is very fun, and if you if you have nothing else and you're looking for some sort of cute little romance anime, uh. This one, this one might be worth checking out mm. because there are some pretty funny moments in there. Uh, there are some pretty cute moments in there. 
there, you know, of course, with any harem uh, romantic comedy thing like this, there are going to be some questionable moments. However, I don't think it ever teeters the line too heavily. Mm. To where it's, it's, I've watched plenty of stuff that was uncomfortable. Like, I know people would be uncomfortable to watch. I feel like people could watch this and not feel very uncomfortable with it. They, they might be bleh at some things, yeah. but I don't think they're necessarily going to be uncomfortable. But overall, it's a cute show. It's funny. If you, if you got time to put back 12 episodes and laugh at something a little bit, uh, if anything, check out those eyes. Yeah. Um, it, the, the show is, uh, it's not very good, but it is good. Yeah, I, I would agree with you for the most part. Like what you were saying about it not being like so uncomfortable, I would agree. Yeah, it's like, not offensive. You're never gonna you're never gonna say, "Wow, that's gross." You are. You probably will a few times just do a quick face palm, like, "Oh yeah. my god," like one of those. But you're never gonna like walk away saying, "Ugh, I can't believe." But like for me, um, I'm just gonna read what I wrote down here. Uh, it's fine. It's not bad. It's not great. Um, I would say, and this this sounds meaner than I mean it to be. It's perfectly average. Yeah. I, I would never... There's a lot of stinkers out there. We've covered one or two. But, like, yeah. this one, it's not It's not horrible. It's not amazing. It's right down the middle, and that's fine. Yeah. And that's totally fine. Yeah, um, it's something you can watch, you can just go through. Totally. And then you, it's another notch in your anime belt. Mm-hmm. As I said earlier, it treads familiar ground, and it doesn't mind taking the road most traveled most of the time. Like, yeah. it's, it's pretty straightforward. Even And I will say this, even within the show itself, it doesn't mind taking the road mo- most traveled, because... Like, it'll just repeat itself a couple times. You, you, our boy, uh, Nariyuki, ends up in a sauna with a bunch of girls. Whoops, better hide under the bench yeah. while they're sitting on top of it. Oh, no, y- Yuga, uh, Nariyuki ended up uh, stuck in the nurse's office and a bunch of girls come in. Better hide under the bed while mm-hmm. they're all standing there talking about him. It's like, it's the same thing. And yeah. that's fine. It's just it's just kind of, it may be a little, it's just a real tropey thing. And it's yeah. fine. It's not... It's not offensive, as we said. It's just a straightforward, sure. you know, harem anime. If you want something more than a pretty straightforward harem with some awkward situations and whoops, here's my tits, maybe look elsewhere. If you want a cute enough show with some goofy bits, then you're gonna have a fun. You're gonna yeah. have some fun. It's not a masterpiece, but you're gonna have some yeah. fun. Yeah, and and if it if it helps at all, there is there are people that really do like this show. Oh, yeah, they like it a lot. They like it so much. That it's already gl- greenlit mm-hmm. for a second season. October, That's coming out in coming October, Im- almost immediately. Yeah, yeah, and we're and we're getting an OVA soon too. Yeah, uh, that's going to be released with a manga. So, so yeah, if it's worth watching because if you like it, you're about to get more. Yeah, I can guarantee you that there's another season right now. I can I can tell you that there will be another season of this because it's already been announced. Yeah, and it got announced quickly, and th- and that doesn't happen for a lot of things. So somewhere, probably in Japan, it does have a pretty decent fan base and. Uh, the Japanese people, they're they are intelligent people. They make great cartoons. We do a whole review show about them. Uh, so, you know, if we if you fall into it and you like things like this, there are other people that probably liked it more than we did, mm. is, is what I'm getting at. Um, mm. But overall, it's, it's, it's a good show. Just like I think Brandon said it is perfectly average. It's not very good. It's good, is what I said. It's fine. Yeah. Do you want to get to the scores? Yeah, one? man. All right. Uh, how did you feel about the story and setting? I give it a one a, a one and a quarter star. Wow, we're already doing the quarter. One point two five. I got a one. How did you feel about the characters and development? Uh, one point five. I went point five. Okay. Okay. Uh, how about the art and animation? Uh, one point two five. And one and a half. Uh, music and soundtrack. Uh, one point two five. Gave it a one. And the genesis equa. A one point two five. Went ahead and gave it a one. So what does that take you up to? That puts me at a five. Straight Put down you the at middle. a five. It puts me at a 6.5, a high anime B for me. There you go. So That's an anime B for you, high anime B for me. Sure, man. About what I thought this was going to be. Yeah. 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 I, it's pretty typical for us these days. Yeah. It's been a while since we've done like a proper review, but yeah. very often that's how it winds Especially up. Especially for like, this kind of genre of anime, yeah, too. Yeah. It's it's almost expected that I'll be about a point five ha- higher than you. Yeah, yeah. A <laughs> l- little bit higher on the scale. Yeah. But yeah, man, that's uh, that's how we felt about it. Um, well, maybe we are going to do a quick ramble on this. Yeah, one, it's so going to we'll, be it's going to be a very short ramble. Yeah, but we'll, we might talk a little bit more. Yeah, we'll see. and uh, something this this will probably matter to the people in the podcast before the YouTube stuff. I'll try to get something out on YouTube. But uh, I I have started working back at the comic book store again, mm-hmm. so my hours are about to be shifted up, and that probably means that the podcast as it is now is still going to be regular every week. We're still going to be recording at the same time, but when it uploads, might be a little different time. Yeah, we're gonna have to move some stuff around. It, it'll it yeah, once it gets moved around, it'll stay continuous that way. 
But also, you know, we mentioned a while back we have a cool announcement. So we're going to try to work forward on that and get that out there for you guys so y'all can, you know, what we're, we're thinking about doing. Yeah, man. But, um... Yeah, uh, be patient with this. Uh, hopefully on YouTube I'll have something up with the thumbnail so people know. Uh, podcast, if you if for any reason you listen to the podcast and watch a YouTube video, this will this will be for you. Absolutely. But um, yeah, uh, either so we record on Friday. I might have it out on Saturday night. So if you're listening to this on Saturday night, thank you for being there early. But mm-hmm. more than likely it'll be Sunday and then Monday for the the YouTube. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, next week, dude, you want to tell them what we're watching? We're going to watch a little something that just dropped on uh, Netflix about a week ago. Uh, we're going to talk about Cannon Busters. Mm-hmm. Looks cool. Looks pretty cool. Looks uh, looks looks inspired. It's one of those Americanimes, you know? <laughs> nice one, dude. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, what's what's the guy's name? LaShawn? Ah, oh, I forget the last name. Uh, really cool dude, really cool artist, did the comic book, and managed to throw this one on Kickstarter, and he got it yeah. funded, so hell yeah, dude. What, what else he worked on? He worked on Boondocks, he worked on... Boondocks, uh, Legend Avatar, of Korra. Avatar, and Legend of Korra, yeah. Yeah, and uh, a few other things. All dude, notable things, too. Yeah, dude, dude's badass. Dude makes work. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be talking about that. Um, we wanna talk about YouTube purposes stuff, like the, you know, leave us a thumbs up, subscribe, ding, ring that bell so we can ding yeah. your dong, etc. Et yeah, all that stuff. Ring that bell so we ding your dong. Gotta ding that dong, Subscribe. Bro. It really helps us out. We are a growing channel here. Yeah, really and, appreciate uh, it. And, uh, yeah, if, if you liked We Never Learned, let us know in the comments what you thought about this show. Mm-hmm. If there are other, like, you know, cute harem slice of life animes like this that you would recommend, let us know in the comments. Yeah, I love We're you, always life. interested in, uh, in knowing things like that. We, we love talking to the good buddies so. and while, we, while you're at it leave us a question comment anything yeah we yeah we those. we always in the ramble after this we always answer questions in the ramble so please leave us a question if you got one it doesn't even matter how silly the question is uh we, we'll we think of something answer. yeah we'll make it work yep. but uh beyond that i think we just need to give a shout out to our good buddy haas for the outro you're about to hear if you're mm-hmm. watching the youtube uh if you're listening to the podcast obviously we're just going to go straight into the ramble but the ramble will be out later on youtube and uh, yeah, our good buddy Haas, that's Thomas Taste Bet on Instagram for the use of our closing theme yeah, on the good YouTube. Guy. Uh, the buddy's good is what we're calling that one. Mm-hmm. Again, that's Haas, uh, Thomas Taste Better on Instagram. We got anything else to talk about, Ben? Uh, I don't think so, dude. All right. We're going to go ahead and uh, head on out of here and uh, get to the ramble, and we will see y'all next time, my good buddies. I love you. Love you more. <laughs> <laughs>